Hello, and here we have another work solution as requested. This is um, exercise 14B, question seven from page 213 of the Cambridge IGCSE Maths, um, Chris Pierce textbook, 2011 version. All right, so we've got um, three school friends and they've set off from school at the same time. Okay, they've, they've all set off at 3.45. Okay, so that means that the start of this graph is actually beginning at 3.45. So let's have a look. So this is 3.45, or we've got a 24-hour time thing, which is 15.45. This is the starting point. So they're set off from school at the same time, and they're heading home, and they all live... 12 kilometres away. So we can see here that all of these um, lines finish at the distance here in kilometres, 12 kilometres away. The distance time graph illustrates their journeys. So we can see that we've got, as always, we have time on the um, x-axis because time is a independent variable or is, is the independent variable. So you always generally see time on the x-axis and we have um, distance in kilometres on the left hand on the y axis there. So we one of them went by bus, took the bus home, one rode their bike and another one was taken by car. And the first question we're asked here is explain how you know that Sue used the bus. So if we have a look here, Sue, we can follow that line here and we notice that there's these points, or well not points, there's, a, there's these areas where Sue, Sue's graph goes horizontal, which means that it's not increasing in distance, which shows that she's stopped. So there's been a number of stops. So we've got one stop here, another stop here, another stop here, another stop here, and so on. So we can tell that Sue, and I'll go back to blue here, we can tell that it was Sue that used the bus um, due to the horizontal lines that represent stopping. Okay. Who went by car? Okay, so we've got two left here. We've got Michael and we've got Ravinda. All right. So we've got one that's gone by car and one that's gone by push bike. So if we have a look at these two lines, we've got Ravinda. It took Ravinda just over 10 minutes to get home and it took Michael, if you look here, 50 minutes to get home. Now, unless there was something wrong with the car, we would assume that the car would be much quicker than, than the push bike. So we would say that it was actually Ravinda who only took 12 and a half minutes as opposed to Michael who took 50 minutes. So we'll say that it was Ravi. Okay. At what times did each of them get home? So we'll look at Ravi first. We'll go from left to right here. So Ravi, if we look at this graph, we can see that um, Ravi's arrived home at this point here. Okay. And that has been, all right, from, if we look at, we need to look at the increments. What do these increments represent? Well, we can see that halfway is going to be five minutes. So this is five minutes here. All right, so if that's five minutes, then these other increments are going to be 2.5. So this is going to be 2.5, 5, 7.5, 10, 12.5. So Ravi's actually left at um, 15.45 or 3.45 in the afternoon and has traveled for 12 minutes 45, so Ravi is going to be 12 minutes 45. What have I got here? Sorry, that's incorrect. Ravi actually left at 15 45. 
15.45. And we're going to add to that his travel time of 12.5 minutes. Okay. So that will leave us with a total of 15 plus 12 minutes. Okay. Oh, sorry, 15.45 plus 12 minutes. So it's going to be... Fifteen fifty seven point five, but we'll round to the to the nearest minute and that will leave us at fifteen fifty eight. So that's Ravi. Then we'll look at Sue. So we've got Sue. Sue also left at fifteen forty five. And we're gonna add her travel time. So if we look down here, her travel time was between 30 and 40 exactly in the middle so we'll say that that's going to be 35 minutes so she's taken 35 minutes we're going to add 35 minutes to 15:45, and that's going to give us 4 or 16 20. all right okay now, finally, we have Michael, and Michael, Mike, it's taken him a full 50 minutes, also leaving at 15.45, so that's going to be 15.45 plus 50 minutes. Now, 50 minutes is just one is just 10 minutes short of an hour so we can add an hour here and take away 15 minutes so it's going to be 15:45 so it'll be 16:45 minus 10 so that will give us 16:35 is the time that Mike will arrive all right that's part A and part B let's have a look at part C when the bus was moving it covered two kilometres an hour. So let's have a look down here. I'm going to change flavour here. We'll change the green flavour. Okay. And so when the bus was moving, it covered two kilometres in five minutes. What was this speed in kilometres per hour? Now we have a speed question. So if we have a speed question, we should remember that speed is equal to distance over time. Okay, so this is going to be equal to the distance travelled was two kilometres. So two kilometres over the time. Now the time is being given in minutes, but the answer we've been asked to give is in hours. Okay, so how many hours is five minutes? Well, I can figure out how many hours five minutes is because there's 60 minutes in an hour, so I can say that 5 over 60. Now you can use your scientific calculator to solve this. This will be nice and simple. All you have to put into your calculator would be 2 divided by, and I put this in brackets, 5 divided by 60. Okay, if you put that into your calculator, and that will give you, that will be equal to 24 kilometres divided by hours, okay, which we can just write as divided by all per hour. All right. So that's this one here. Now the next one is exactly the same. We're going to do the exactly the same thing. All right. I'll use a different colour this time. So again, we're going to say that speed is equal to distance over time. And the distance this time is going to be 12 kilometres. So we've got 12 kilometres over the time which is 35 minutes and remember we want to do this in per hour so how many hours is 35 minutes well we can say that 35 out of 60 minutes because there's 60 minutes in an hour okay 
hours. All right. Again, we can do the exact same thing when we put this into our calculator. We can say, all right, 12 and then divided by, remember this is just a, the same thing as divided by this fraction here, divided by, open brackets, 35 divided by 60. Okay. And if we put that into our calculator, we'll end up with this as a result, which will be 144, oops, 44 kilometres over seven hours. And what you'll find is there's a little button on your scientific calculator if you're using uh, the Casio, uh, which is recommended for the course. Um, you just There's a little button, and the button looks like this. Okay, that button is just um, above the delete button or the AC button. Okay, if you press that, that will convert your answer to a decimal, and the decimal answer that you will get will be... 20.57142857. That's going to be kilometres per hour. Okay, and then we're going to round that off to three significant figures. So, and it's going to be approximate to three significant figures: twenty. Point. Now, because this 7 is 5 or above, we're, we're going to actually um, take this one and we're going to make that 6, and that's going to be 20.6 kilometres per hour. Okay, and last question, how many stops did the bus make before Sue got off? That's a nice, simple one to, to answer. We can see where the bus has stopped here because that's where... Um, um, she so stop covering any distance. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So there were five stops before she got off the bus. And there you go. Please comment if um, uh, you found this helpful and or if you would like further clarification. Right. Have a great day. See you in the next video.